Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna be turning this little pool into an epic shrimp breeding setup. And before we do though, I wanted to go back and talk about some of the breeding we've done. Probably one of my favorite breeding setups is this black water waterfall tank where we set this thing up and bred these really cool tiger endler guppies. We bred all kinds of guppies in the fish room here on the Christopher Scott channel. We've also bred crabs. We recently put out a video where we showed you all of our new bait the orange disco vampire crabs and in fact if you click the card right above you can go back and watch all of our guppy and crab breeding videos with that let's get into the video today all right we have our pool in the place where we're going to actually set this thing up but we already have our shrimp and this system is not set up yet so i need to go ahead and get these things out of the bags and into something that they will survive in what we're going to be using is this little plastic tub which we're actually going to reuse to grow frog bit and duckweed for sale at freshwaterscrub.com but for right now we just need a safe place for these shrimp to survive temporarily while we get this system completely set up all right now that these shrimp are safe in this tub we need to go ahead and set up a stand for our lighting because this thing is going to be fully planted I've cut four pieces of PVC pipe the equal lengths and now I'm adding 90 degree elbows to the ends of each one of these. Then I'm going to flip them over and I'm going to go ahead and add a T to the other end. I've cut some smaller pieces and we're going to add these to the T's because these are going to eventually become the legs of our light stand. And now it's time to just simply assemble this thing and we'll take a look at this later on in the video when we set up our light system. This thing is completely for functionality, not aesthetics. It's not very pretty, but it works. Now I guess we could go ahead and say that we're doing this on a budget and the reason I say that is is because well we're using some leftover materials that we haven't used throughout other builds starting with this pool filter sand. I like to personally use pool filter sand because it's not overly dirty, it's not overly dusty, the water stays fairly clean and it's silica based just like your sand you buy at a local pet store or at a big box store. The difference is 10 pound bag of this stuff at a pet store is like $30. A 50 pound bag of this pool filter sand at Home Depot is five. And another leftover substrate we have is this dark stone. We're gonna go ahead and put this in here and kind of mix it with the sand. And that's just simply because, well, we're breeding ghost shrimp and they're already hard enough to see. So if you use a darker colored substrate such as this stone, you'll actually be able to see them a little better. All right, I'm gonna go and fill this thing up with water to get the little bit of dust and debris out of this tub before we fill it up one final time. I always lay a paper towel down and let the water fill on top of that to prevent the substrate from being disturbed and dirtying up the water. I'm using pre-treated water. So this water has already been treated with the dude chlorinator and is also warm enough for the shrimp. Now I'm going to use a sponge filter for this setup, so I'm going to head over to freshwaterscrub.com and pick me one up. If you use the code SHRIMP right now until January the 18th, you'll get 10% off all of your order, and $5.85 for this thing is a great deal. Now let's go ahead and put some rock in the bottom of this thing, just for some aesthetics and, you know, places for these little guys to hide. All right, now it's time to acclimate. We're using a two-step process. First, temperature by floating this bucket in this water, and second is parameter acclimation. And we're gonna take single cups of water and pour these in over about a 20-minute period just to go ahead and acclimate these shrimp to these water parameters. One thing that does not exist in this setup as of yet is beneficial bacteria. So what we're gonna do is take one of these sponges off the sponge filter and change it out for a sponge in a system that is set up and established. This will immediately cycle this system, allowing the instant addition of the shrimp. Well, now that they're acclimated, let's get them in here. Hmm. 
You can't really see them in here. I'm gonna take this camera off the tripod so we can take a closer look. And I've also stepped on my hose to try to keep the bubbles from flowing. There you go, you can see them over there. And there's some there. One there moving towards the filter. Whole bunch over there on the side. So they are all in here. Now, there is one specific thing that we need to add to this setup to make this, well, complete. All right, to make this thing complete, we gotta do two things. Number one is, well, we gotta add live plants to this thing. I mean, how can you have shrimp breeding in here with no live plants? It's one of the things that you really wanna make sure that you have. So, we're gonna be using some Christmas moss. Christmas moss is a great cover for baby shrimp, as well as they love to like eat on it and they eat the algae off of it. So we're gonna throw some of this just throughout into this tub. And I will tell you, you can buy this at freshwaterscrub.com. Use the code SHRIMP for 10% off. So we're just gonna let that float around like that. And then what we also have is some great looking hornwort. Hornwort is another great floating plant option for shrimp. And what we're gonna do with this is I'm actually gonna break this into a couple of pieces. And we're gonna throw this in here too. Just like that. And finally, look at this beautiful Amazon frog bit. Look at how great this stuff looks. Fantastic floating plant. And another plant that you can get, where at? Of course, freshwaterscrub.com. All right, let's go ahead and get this light system set up. Let's take a look back at this setup. I went ahead and unplugged the airline hose just temporarily so we can take a look at these guys unobstructed because the bubbles are crazy and you can't really see through all of them. But if you take a look right here, there are some that have made a little bit of a home there on the sponge of the sponge filter, eating the algae and such off of that. If you look back on this rock, I don't know if you can see those back there, but there's some on the rock over there, but they are all throughout this tub. I mean, like as we just kind of walk around and just kind of move the camera you can see them start shooting across but they are all through this tub they're all up in the hornwort there is one right there in the christmas moss there are hundreds of these things in here so i'm really looking forward to seeing how these guys breed and what comes out of all of this but so far this thing is doing really well the water has cleared up significantly all the plants are doing really well it's been about two days, three days since I set this thing up, but everything is looking fantastic. So real quick before we move on, let's go ahead and drop some food in here for these guys. So what we're gonna be feeding today is actually gonna be just some API tropical fish flakes. Shrimp love these things as well as all my fish, but it's an easy thing to drop in here. Shrimp are in fact scavengers, so they will start picking through the substrate and picking out all of this fish flake. Now the diet for these shrimp will not consist just of fish food and fish flake. We are actually going to be serving them things like fresh vegetables and other things that shrimp like to eat. So with that, let's go ahead and drop some of this flake in here. All right, so we got the food in here. We got our aeration hose hooked back up. We got our bubbles back going and the filtration going. So over time, this setup right here is going to produce first off a lot of things. A whole bunch of baby ghost shrimp, as well as we are growing a few plants in here that are for sale on freshwaterscrub.com. Things such as all of our frog bit back here, whole bunch of Christmas moss, whole bunch of hornwort. So all of this will be for sale on freshwaterscrub.com. So make sure you go use the code SHRIMP for 10% off all your orders. We have all kinds of things listed out there, like some of these amazing Anubius Frazeri that are growing fantastic here in the fish room, as well as a bunch of duckweed and broadleaf Ludwigia and all kinds of things. Look at this amazing Anubius Nana right here. This thing is massive. And these things are super well priced. You can actually get this Anubius Nana right here, as well as one of these potted Anubius Frazeri for $14. 
and that's a great deal for those two Anubias. So make sure you check out freshwaterscrub.com and use the code SHRIMP for 10% off your purchases. All right guys, before we get out of here, I wanted to take a look at a couple of things. This right here is Clown Puke, and I don't know, some subscriber named him Clown Puke when we put him in here, but he does kind of look like Clown Puke, but his tank is looking fantastic. Look at all that great frog bit on top. Look at this amazing banana plant right here. Tank is looking fantastic. Another thing that we have right here next to it, this was actually my Halloween terrarium, and this thing has done really well. It's growing in fantastic fantastic we have this pony's foot here we have the pink vein plant up in the back we have i think this may be mondo grass right here and some other mosses and things in here but this thing is looking fantastic and in fact i think in one of my upcoming videos we're actually going to be doing a new terrarium build so you'll want to stay tuned for that i picked up some really cool little boxes to build terrariums in so hopefully you enjoy the terrarium build videos because there is another one coming for that very very soon we have a whole set of plants here that will be going into this new terrarium so like i said make sure you stay tuned make sure you hit that subscribe button and you've turned on your notification bell don't look over there that's a new animal in that particular tub that you guys haven't seen yet so we'll, we'll be talking about that soon as well looking in here i wanted to come in and check on our little vampire crab babies for a moment and these guys are looking fantastic as well you can see one right there in the water these guys are doing amazing and i cannot wait until these things grow out but in the beginning of the video we actually put a link and a card which you can click in the little eye in the top right corner of this video and you can go back and watch these vampire crab breeding videos but these things have been a super fun project and i'm really hoping that these things continue to grow out because well we're looking forward to uh, possibly offering those at freshwaterscrub.com at some point as well all right guys well with that we're gonna go ahead and get out of here but before we do make sure you subscribe make sure you turn on your notification bell so you do not miss any of the content coming out here on the christopher scott channel i want to express my absolute deepest gratitude to each and every one of you and in the way you support the channel whether that is just simply subscribing and watching liking commenting buying from freshwaterscrub.com whatever it may be each and every one of you hearing this message right now has impacted the growth of this channel in some way shape or form and i am truly 100 grateful for all of you so thank you very much make sure you follow us on instagram and facebook links to both are down in the description and once again use the code shrimp for 10 percent off all of your orders at freshwaterscrub.com and with that guys we will see you next time